I'm here today to give you an update on AR. We're going to be breaking this down from a technical analysis standpoint. We're going to be starting off with market structure, and then we're going to be looking at some key, very important buying areas uh, for this asset. And then we can be looking at some price predictions to round us off here. So starting off with market structure, let's draw this in together, guys. This is going to be the, the bear market low here um, that we have seen for AR all the way back in um, the all the way back in uh, October um, 2023 here. And now we're looking for a higher low. Okay, so the higher low essentially is a significant pullback after a high. Okay, so what we're looking for here is potentially something around this area. Okay, so you can see we have got the high broken here. Let me zoom in a little bit here, guys, so you can see it across platform. We've got the high broken here. And then a significant pullback here. And this is a massive area of support. So this would be a higher low after this high has been broken. But, but it's only confirmed here at the time that we have seen this high get broken. Okay, so that confirms this as a higher low market structure point. And now this is our high. So now what we're looking for here, significant pullback again to this area. I mean, it's pretty goddamn tight. So that's two higher lows in the same area here, which shows... A massive level of support and then obviously this area has been broken to the upside confirming that as a higher low now what are we looking for next guys it's going to be move to the upside we're, we're breaking highs here and then a significant move to the downside this would be something that i would be measuring up here because uh, you can see we've actually broke this high after setting a significant pullback and this is very important, guys. Market structure is super important because if we lose bullish market structure, then it's likely that we are going to see a uh, continuation of the reversal of the trend here. OK, so in terms of higher lows, guys, this would be the most recent higher low. No, it wouldn't because we broke the high here. OK, interesting. But um, yeah, so we actually tested this higher low in terms of breaking that high as well. So it basically shows that this area is actually a super, super strong level of support here because we have actually got two higher lows in this bullish market structure that is, that is sort of um, holding up. Now, you're probably thinking, what is that chart pattern on the screen? <laughs> it is actually a, a rising wedge chart pattern, guys. Rising wedges, they tend to usually break to the downside. Just a nice example of, of, of some TA coming into fruition here. So you can see we actually had very strong break point to the downside and then trading this like so really, really nice and clean. We are going to bring in a lot more indicators in a second there. Um, but let me know in the comment section what you guys think of this asset and... Um, what you think of, uh, of the market structure, what it's currently looking like, right? So as you can see, we're going to be getting rid of that measure move now, and we're going to be drawing in some nice new TA. We're going to be leaving that trend line there because uh, it's still super, super valid when we do see a move to the upside here. But um, the one thing that is sort of talking to me here, guys, is going to be potentially here a parallel channel. This is an upward sloping parallel channel, as you can see, um, sloping to the upside. We've got lovely levels of support on the lower side here and lovely levels of resistance on the top side essentially what this means guys it is a uh, ascending it's, it's an ascending chart pattern here these tend to usually unfortunately break to the downside right okay so the thing that we can be looking for here is potentially a measure move that will consist of something along the lines of this, okay? Yes, this will bring the price down to around $12.82. This will be a price retracement of around 53%. So, so not bullish at all. And um, it's uh, actually famously bearish looking at this um, if we are going to see this coming to fruition. Do I think we're going to see this? I think probably not, okay? We might see a... Uh, a significant tests of market structure higher lows and we have as we have just discussed here but coming all the way down to 12 bucks for this type of asset super super bullish on this asset guys overall in terms of a utility standpoint i don't think that we are going to see 12 dollars here i'll be super surprised unless the markets just new copper cliff and we see like a blank swan event or something but um in terms of seeing that i, I think it's super unlikely and remember guys if you are new to trading here these measure moves from, from these chart patterns, they only play out one in three times, okay? So you can't just be blindly trading these um, because actually it's, it's it's a negative strategy if you do do that. Um, it's just good to get a gauge here because um, it's just an extra confluence uh, for, a, for a potential level that we can be trading here. Now, let's bring up some indicators. Let's break this down from a bit more of a um, educated standpoint. <laughs> 
if you, if you want to say it like that. <laughs> and guys, if you are new to the stream, make sure you drop a like, whatever platform you're on. It does help us out tremendously in getting the word out there for crypto. Um, let's look at this from a, a midterm perspective because you can see we have seen around a 7% move to the upside today. It's looking pretty bullish overall. The one thing that is that has caught my eye is this four hour volume weighted ATR band. You can see the gap between the four hour to the 60 minute here. It's actually looking quite clean for a move to the upside. We haven't really got any strong micro market structure in terms of horizontals to really be holding us back here um, before this point. As you can see, these areas, they're really not strong, strong areas of uh, sort of resistance here. They're very, very unreactive here com in comparison to something along the lines of this, right? So um, what does that tell us? It tells us that there is potentially a nice, clean, gentle move from the four hour to the 60 minute. And that is going to be potentially worth around 19%, guys. Okay, so it's definitely something that we can be looking out for. Obviously, we need to weigh up a lot more things before just blindly going for, um, for 11% there, not 19%. And uh, something that is probably a bit more feasible here is going to be a Fibonacci retracement goal. Okay, so the Fibonacci retracement goal using this uh, micro downtrend that we have seen here uh, on the four hour time frame from um, the, the, the bull market high of $50 swinging down to $22 here. The, the, the Fibonacci retracement for that low is actually around um, 20, 29 what? Okay, and that shows that there is actually a cleaner position that we could be getting involved with that's probably worth around 4.55%, and that is going to be up to the 0 0.236 Fibonacci retracement. Okay, so 4.55%, yes, it doesn't seem like a lot of money, like, like a lot of, uh, like a big move, right? But it is a big move. If, you, if you're 10xing this, if you're trading futures here, that's a 45% gain on the equity that you've put into the position. Okay, so essentially, let me just put this into perspective. Hedge funds, like massive institutions, millions and billions of dollars, right, in their portfolio, in the in portfolio management that they do there, they aim for around six, no, yeah, six to eight percent per year on their investment. This trade, if you're 10x in your investment, it's worth 45 percent, right? So yeah, put it into perspective. It's it's a good trade. It's, it's a good trade. Okay, so um, what we're sort of looking for here for the confirmation for this position, ideally, I would like a bit of a pullback, guys. Okay, we're, you can see on the four hour, we've been rallying up uh, with this asset for around 15% uh, here. It's uh, It needs a bit of a pullback for this to be healthy. We can't just be buying a parabolic move to the upside. So the pullback in question would be probably something along the lines of this, using this as a level of support here. I would like to see us basically come down from this point, test this as a level of support as we did um, in previous price action like so. And you can see the actual momentum that we got for that from that point was around 9% to the upside. So if we're using that as a point of reference, we could see potentially an entry on the lower side of this retest of this uh, level of support here. And um, the four hour will only naturally follow us down because it is in as I said, a digressionary stance um, to the downside right now. And because we have been digressionary and, um, and bearish for some time here, it's very unlikely that the four hours is just going to flip bullish. Okay, so it's likely that we do see, um, see, see more downside for this volume weighted ATR band coming through for this level of support and then using that as a, a very clean entry point up to the Fibonacci retracement area. So that is going to be the position there that I would be looking for for AR. Now, if we are using the Quantum Insight, which we've got to do that, guys, super, super important here, we're going to be looking at um, a couple of things. Okay, so the Stochastic is on the top side of this right now, which obviously isn't in our favor. If we see a crossover on the top side, what happens? We usually see a reversal in the price. Okay, so if we are going to bring this up here, guys, what do we know? We line this up just like so. Stochastic on the, on the top side. That's a move to the upside. We've seen, and then we just see a massive dump, right? So what we're looking for now in terms of referencing the quantum insight, guys, you can see that it's likely we're going to see a crossover and a dump down in the price. Okay, very important stuff. If that is going to happen, we're going to see momentum come down as well. This is where it gets juicy. This is where it gets very important because the amount of confluences that we do have 
for this position is super, super important. The more, the merrier. The more data that we do have, the better the trade is going to be and the more chance that is going to play out, okay? So we're going to see this crossover to the downside. Price action is going to come down. Momentum is going to come down as well. And then we're looking for this low momentum like these areas here. When we see low momentum, you can see we'll just go to the chart. Super, super simple. I haven't even checked this data, but uh, super, super simple. It's pretty much set in stone. When we see super low momentum like so, guys, it usually means a really nice strong move to the upside, okay? So yeah, super low momentum. Doesn't seem like a big move, but you can see we've claimed volume weighted ATR bands there, which is essentially what we're looking for for that trade. And it was a 5% move to the upside, okay? So overall, it's looking pretty strong from that area. What we're actually looking for here uh, for the Quantum Insight is essentially a pullback, and then a lovely entry point from this zone. That is going to be it for the AR update today. If you do have any questions about that, guys, put it in the chat and we will answer them on the TA Q&A section of this stream. Thank you ever so much. Drop a like on it if you liked it. And uh, yeah, leave me a comment in the comment section as well.